Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase and what I'm hoping is the final update to my black uh, recon revolution of the Daleks Dalek that is going to be seen in the upcoming special revolution of the Daleks. Now before we get into actually looking at this Dalek there are a couple uh, one thing I would like to make a note of obviously when this when I did my first custom of this or my first two customs it hadn't officially been revealed as such so it was still considered the leaked Dalek so I put them up with spoiler warnings etc and things like that obviously now though we have had official images released of this Dalek it's appearing on the posters I appreciate that this video is still going out before the episode is revealed, however, this Dalek is in the trailers, it's on the pictures, it's on the posters, so I'm not putting up spoiler warnings because it's quite literally been been revealed, you know, if you've, if you've, the kind of person who wants to go, oh, well, I've tried to steer clear from all of the, you know, trailers and the pictures and things like that, well, it's out there, it's public knowledge now, it is literally public knowledge, it is not down to me now to put up spoiler warnings when it is something that has been officially revealed, I want to make that perfectly clear. But going on to looking at the Dalek, obviously I've made a few changes on this. Uh, one very noticeable change, which I'll come back to last. But starting from the dome down, on the dome lights I've painted, repainted them a slight sort of white colour, because I had previously them sort of a, um, a kind of a, a creamish colour, but I decided they look better in white. Uh, the eye stalk I have repainted um, silver rather than the black I had previously, although I did originally have it as silver, so I, I didn't need to repaint it um, the second time as it turns out, but I did, but I repainted it back to what it was. The um, light section around the neck, where it's uh, normally red on the Recon Dalek, I've repainted blue, because obviously this Dalek has uh, blue light-up parts. That is the only part I have decided to paint blue, simply because I did do some sort of Photoshop uh, edits of how it might look if I repainted the other bits that are seeming to light up blue, and it just didn't look right, so I decided just to keep it plain silver. The midsection is pretty much unchanged, with the exception of the front part, um, just underneath the slats. I've re-edited that. Um, I previously had two bars across there because that's what I thought I had seen in the in the uh, uh, leaked images, the grainy leaked images. Turns out that's not the case, so I've removed that. But it is the base, obviously, where we see the largest difference. And the reason for this is this is actually a 3D printed uh, base which was sent to me by uh, 3D Who on Instagram. They sent me the STL files to be able to print it. Um, so a big shout out to them for doing it. As far as I am aware, they have not at present time or at the time of recording put the files up anywhere for download. Um, it is not my place to hand out those files, so obviously it is down to them what they decide to do. I'm just very happy that they've given me these files. Obviously, I'm hoping that we are going to see an official version of the Starlick, and I see no reason why we wouldn't, um, because it seems a fairly obvious thing for them to do now they've got the Recon Dalek sculpt making a new base. Obviously, whilst not cheap, is something which could be easily done. Um, the chances of us seeing a version, I know some people have said about seeing one that lights up and things like that, I think it's very unlikely we're going to see that to be perfectly honest, highly unlikely, um, but it is fantastic, you know, to, that we, um, that hopefully we will see a, a, a version of this officially, um, you know, I, I did consider whether it was worth doing this update. If we are going to get an official one again, this is a big if, but you know, if we are going to get an official one. But I thought, well, you know, it's not confirmed. It's worth doing this just to update my custom one. And you know, I am, I am very pleased with this custom. It has come out very well. The base has come out absolutely superbly. And as I said, hopefully for a final update to this, it is one that has come out very, very well. But that brings to a close another custom figure showcase. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. Make sure to the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so and funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all and I will see you with another video very soon.